So what is going on guys and welcome back to episode number 6 of the in brackets FIFA 14 career mode. As you guys already know this is not FIFA 14 so basically that's what I want to say. But we're kicking off this episode with a home game or Everton are at home and we're playing um, them at... Um, God, I feel really bad now. I forgot their stadium name. Uh, it doesn't matter. But we get up to a very good start here. Soldado gets the ball. Um, in the very early stage of the game, he has a very good shot. But Tim Howard pulls out an amazing save. Uh, close at his near post. And nice there from. But Soldado picks up the ball and slots it into the back of net. And Soldado's goal drought has now ended. He hasn't been scoring recently. But now it's over. As you guys know, some people already have FIFA 14, but I'm afraid I am not one of them people. Um, but I will be having it very, very soon. Uh, Friday the 27th, it is out for me. Um, or I'm going to be buying it on Friday the 27th. Um, so the reason I'm saying that is because this career mode is probably the most popular one I've got going at the moment so probably there's gonna just be this video uploaded double uploads and everything because I've got quite a few episodes actually recorded so I want to get them up because otherwise they're just gonna be a waste of time on my computer but a wonderful goal there from Vlad Chiriches I was absolutely amazed when I saw that goal fly in the back of the net um, but yeah like I was just saying um, when FIFA 14 does come out on Friday, I will be picking it up on Friday. The first episode of Career Mode will be up Saturday morning. So Saturday morning will be the first episode of Career Mode, um, which I'll be very, very glad to announce. Or maybe it won't be... F maybe it, I might be able to get it up Friday night, but it'll be quite late Friday night. But that's besides the point, um, because obviously that is going to be the best thing that's going to happen on this and hopefully I will be able to reach a um, thousand subscribers before FIFA 14 ends which would be absolutely incredible if I could because we are on the brink of 500 uh, subscribers now and if we could get to 1000 before FIFA 14 is up that would be absolutely amazing but um, we, um, get, we are running a little bit risky here um, when Everton pulled it back even closer to 3-2 in this game so we were getting a little bit nervous but thankfully the referee did blow the final whistle and we ended up winning that game 3-2 our way at Everton our next game was up against Swansea and Swansea at this moment in time were fourth in the Premier League table so they were doing incredibly well and they get off to a very good start here a good ball through to Boney Boney has a good save but look at this for a double save from Hugo Lloris absolutely outstanding Standing double save. I couldn't believe that he had managed to get up that quick and to deny them from getting the goal. But Lennon plays the ball to Soldado. Soldado does very well. Um, I don't know what he manages to do to keep hold of the ball, but he does hold on to the ball. Comes out to Ericsson, and Ericsson does very well. Cuts back inside on his favourite right foot and unleashes a bullet into the top corner um, to put us 1 0 up in the 50th minute. And we were um, playing pretty well with this Tottenham team at this moment in time and we did um, actually go on and we ended up winning that game 1-0 against Swansea so that was a very very important game for us against Swansea um, also I'd just like to, to say if you haven't already seen the video that I uploaded yesterday uh, Sunday uh, which was the game or a demo asking you which team you want me to be in FIFA 14 career mode at the moment it has had an absolutely incredible response and there's so many comments saying teams but if you haven't please go on and comment which team you'd like me to be at the moment I've narrowed it down to about three or four teams so another video probably will be up soon um, soon could be any time really any time before Friday um, so basically what it is is you need to decide which team I'm going to be in FIFA 14 career mode because I know last time I decided but this time I want you guys to decide so then basically it'll be more of a your team uh, kind of thing but Stoke get off to a very good start here and they go one new up in the 12th minute through Enzonzi Everington leaves Walker for dead uh, puts a lovely ball in the box to Walters but a good save there from Yuris but a very poor uh, throw out from Yuris gives the ball to Jones Jones controls it and plays a good ball through to um, Walters and Walters fires that into the back of the net in the 24th minute so we were not playing very well in this game we were losing 2-0 in the 24th minute and pretty much we needed to win this Southampton uh, Stoke were 15th in the league table and because of that we needed to really 
beat this team. But we do um, do very well here to play a lovely ball over the top to Lamella. It was beautiful one-touch play there. And Lamella always is going to find the back of the net there, which pulls us back uh, to only one goal behind. So we were now um, only losing 2-1, which is always better than nothing. And I was very happy that we were only losing by that much. Um, and it was a very, very good goal by Lamella, actually. So I was very pleased with him. But... That didn't last uh, particularly long because Waters gets the ball. On Zonzi plays it to Everton. Everton unleashes a beautiful shot into the bottom corner in the 38th minute. So we were now back to two goal deficit. And it was um, pretty diabolical defending in all round, to be honest. We just wasn't playing well in the defence. And now half time it did approach but just before half time Sandro does amazingly well to have a good shot off there I thought the keeper was a little bit unlucky but Soldado does very well to get up with his head in the 42nd minute to pull us back closer um, so now we were only losing 3-2 and we still needed two more goals in the second half to try and pull something incredible game off uh, to see if we could um, actually end up uh, winning this game which would be an absolutely incredible achievement if we could and as you see their half time approaches and Ericsson gets the ball and he just sprints past everyone um, and does amazingly well cuts back inside past short cross and he shoots from outside of the box and a beautiful goal there from Christian Ericsson pulls us back on level terms and we were now 3 all in this game so we were just it was basically just one end to the other in this game um, and we just did not give up so that's basically why the title is did not give up because we just didn't we did not give up whatsoever in this game and we just kept fighting right to the very end but I'm afraid 90th minutes had gone Aaron Lennon just showing him there the ball gets played to Sandro Sandro plays the ball to Paulinho Paulinho to the substitute that just come on which was the likes of Gilfie Sigurdsson cuts back inside on his left foot and he unleashes a shot into the back of the net <laughs> and I was absolutely delighted that we had managed to go ahead and win this game 4-3 and we just did not give up throughout the whole game and that really did show some spirit there and it was actually a beautiful goal from Gilfie Sigurdsson on his weak foot there and I was very very happy with him there to manage to pull off a goal with that good um, so we ended up winning the game 4-3 and our next game was up against Aston Villa and it was at Villa Park so it's going to be a pretty difficult game for us and for some reason Andres Weimann every time I play against him he plays amazingly well so I'm really hoping that um, he doesn't play very well today but Bannon gets the ball down the wing plays the ball to Benteke Benteke to Wyman, and Wyman, see he just turns my defenders inside out plays a good ball to Agbon Lahore. Agbon Lahore puts it into the top hand corner. So five minutes had gone and we were now losing 1-0. So once again, a poor, poor start from my point of view. And they do go 1-0 up. And not long after that, Benteke gets the ball, plays the ball through to Andres Weimann. And look, this is just how good he is. He just does that and then fires it into the back of the net. So we were now losing 2-0 after 20 minutes and it was pretty much a disastrous um, start for me uh, man, thankfully we did actually manage to pull a goal back through Aaron Lennon uh, Aaron Lennon does very well to cut inside and uh, obviously he's going to be scoring from there and it ends up in the back of the net so that was how the game actually finished 44 minutes nothing else happened we ended up losing 2-1 which I was pretty disappointed about but there you go so like I said before if you haven't seen the video of which team you would like me to be in FIFA 14 crew and make sure you check it out because the deadline is going to be tomorrow or tonight Monday night is going to be the deadline so please please do not forget to like comment and subscribe if you're new and I hope you enjoyed the video bye bye